Alright, so the Sega is away, and we'll be playing a game on the PlayStation 1. Uh, it is titled Street Skater. So this was pre-Tony Hawk, and before Tony Hawk, games, skateboarding games did not play like Tony Hawk. If you wanted to uh, shred the gnar, you would do it with games like Street Skater, which was kind of like a, a racing... Wow, that's a little choppy. So this disc is very scratched. I'm I'm hoping it I'm I'm hoping it will even play. Uh, let's see. These graphics look pretty bad. I remember them being better when I was ten years old. Um So let's see if we get this going. This was like a downhill kind of racing game with tricks. Came out a little bit before Tony Hawk. Um fun game back then. I have a feeling it's not going to hold up. The graphics are terrible. Uh, sometimes it's hard to remember, you know, what they were like back in the day with games like uh, The Witcher and uh, the recent new gen releases. You go back and it's really hard to even right, look at these jam. games, but this is what we played. All right, so clear score. So I know there's some tricks. I remember this level. Three, so there's some sort two, of tricks one, and racing component. So, you hold circle to gain up speed, and I believe it's X to jump and do tricks. I, I don't think any of the buttons are really used. So when you get to a ramp, you press X to do a trick. And uh, that's that's basically it. I don't know if there's an actual um, like correlation between a directional button when you're pressing X, or if it just kind of randomly picks a trick. I have no idea. But I guess we'll see. Yo, ripping! See, I don't know. The point value goes down. I don't know if it's based on like the location. But if you keep doing the same tricks, eventually the value starts to drop. So I can never find. It was always hard. You have to like hit the rail at the perfect time. Alright. I have a feeling I don't have enough points. I think I'll be close. Oh, I was 500 points away. Alright, I'll try it one more time. I think you get a bonus. Like, you get points for time, so you don't want to fall, and you want to get there as quickly as possible, because you get a few thousand to kind of clear the stage. Controls are pretty bad, too. I just remember this game being awesome. It's not. Like a punk rock soundtrack, and dude has a beanie, cool hair. I remember thinking, this game was awesome. For, for the time it was, if you uh, won the skateboarding game before Tony Hawk, you really didn't have too many options. So, I can never figure out like what dictates the point value. I think it's just a location, so once you do too many tricks in one area, the point values begin to depreciate, maybe? Look at that. Grinding, and then into the wall. Damn it. Oh man, let's see, it's gonna be close again. I don't think I have enough points. 
Oh, I beat it by seven points. And I cleared stage one of Street Skater. So, that is it. And I get some, some skill bonus points. I'm not going to save, but I'm going to show you guys this bonus stage half-pipe awesomeness. I, I don't remember Three, this, to be honest. Three, two, one, hit it! Six, move! Come on! All right. Wow, that was Six, pretty move. impressive. Six, move. So, I mean, I don't know. I guess I'm going Bad for a, a score. So, I am just literally pressing X, I'm holding circle to gain speed. And, uh, let's see if I'll have enough points. 1440, that's pretty awesome. Time's up. Alright. That's the end of the run. Let's do this putting Tony Hawk to shame. That's it. Alright. So that is the first level and the bonus stage. That's all you get. On to the next game.